welcome to AGSC 3019. In this series of short videos, we will be showing you some practical things that will complement the course. I am going to show you how you can collect moss to do uh, um, one of the assignments you have air layering. So this is a cocoa tree. We call it cocoa moss and we can collect the moss from the cocoa tree. Of course, there are alternative methods we can use to get that rooting medium. And I'll show you that in a subsequent video. So I'm going to collect some cocoa moss. I go to the tree and I pull out the moss. Now this moss has a lot of qualities in it. It holds a lot of water and it remains damp for a long time. So I'm going to collect some more here and there are other trees around that I'm going to collect some more moss from. So without doing any damage to the fruits on the tree, I am collecting moss here. Okay, we are going to carry out the procedure of air layering. That is, producing a plant while it is still attached to the mother plant. So as you see here, there are several branches and I can produce several plants from this one plant. Okay, what are the materials I need for air layering? I need moss. This is cocoa moss. Alternatively, I can use coconut fiber if I don't have the coconut moss, the cocoa moss. So this fiber I'll have to shred up, shred it up, you know, get it like this. Small fibers, not too long. You don't want it protruding out of the area you're going to tie up. So you're going to get some like this. Not this quantity, of course, a little more. So we have the medium for rooting. We have rooting hormone. The label has gone through because um, I had this quite a lot of I'll, I'll, quite a time. So we have this is a powder. Now what I did is I made it into a paste. So I put some in a little container. And I sort of mix it up. I want a paste, all right? Because I do it, it's dry and I don't want it blowing into my nostrils when I apply it. And I need string. You could use any string you want. This is one kind. This is another kind. It must be strong enough to take pull it. I even stripped a piece of cloth if you don't have string. So many alternative things you could use. And you could use waste material like this is a napkin bag um, food napkin bag 400 napkins right so instead of dumping it i use the plastic it is thick enough and i have the plastic so let's go through the materials i need it's five and of course a knife you need a knife so let's go over we need cocoa moss Alternatively, coconut fiber. We need rooting hormone. We need plastic wrap. We need, well, this is the rooting hormone. 
we need a knife and we need string five things right let me carry out the operation so the first step in alayering a plant is to choose a branch choose a branch that you think is going to make a nice plant this is nice this will make a beautiful plant also right and this is a ficus plant it is called a spoon shaped ficus the leaf has a sort of spoon shape so i'm going to carry out the operation i'm going to clear the area i'm going to work clear out the area i'm going to work cut out some of the leaves it's a little milky plant all right so i'm going to work in this area here don't think i need this clear the area next step is the girdle girdle means to cut a ring around so i'm going to cut a ring around into the bark of the branch three centimeters down three centimeters down i'm going to do the same thing cut a ring around the bark and if it's cut properly if it's cut properly and you join it you should be able to peel out this bark All right so you took out the bark and the bark will be epidermis cortex and phloem so you remove epidermis underneath that is cortex and underneath that is phloem but you have a very thin layer here called cambium so what i need to do is to scrape out this cambium because if I leave the scambium, just gently pass it on it to take out most of it. Not too hard. Because if I leave the cambium, it's going to generate, regenerate bark again. So you don't want that happening. So you remove the cambium. Next step is to apply the rooting hormone. And we're going to apply the rooting hormone on this part of the plant because this is where the roots going to grow out just around here now I have seen some people use dry rooting hormone but they are more experienced what if you were to use a dry one you have to wet this area here and then take a pinch and paste it around but we're not going to do that we don't want to inhale this rooting hormone you don't know if you are allergic to it so we put some rooting hormone there in a paste form. Next I'm going to take a handful of moss. A generous amount. Right? Squeeze it hand tight because the moss is quite absorbent so squeeze it hand tight leave a bit of moisture in it All right so it has a lot of moisture in it which is good for the dry season it wouldn't dry off place it around the cut area and then I wrap it with the plastic wrap ball it up make it look you know good pull it tight ball it up All right. next step is to tie this so some of you may need help if you are not ambidextrous you may need help but I think I can manage by myself let's see so I'll put the string coming down like this. I can use one piece of string or I can use two pieces. So I put one piece. I'll I'm using one piece of string. And I'm tying the upper edge here very tightly. Tie tight. You don't want the water to dry out. So tie it tightly. Right. Then I'm going to the lower end. So before I do that. I'm going to sort of pass it around to sort of hold it in place so it doesn't it doesn't loose out. Well that was a weak piece of string. 
what I manage, I can get the end and then I'm going to tie it up if not I will make sure it's properly tied using the other piece of string either way will work tie tight and I will leave this I'll keep on observing it for about three weeks or maybe more until I see roots appear inside here when I'm satisfied with the amount of roots appearing here I'm going to cut it at this point and there I have a plant that was produced while it was still attached to the mother plant that is called air layering when the roots are produced I remove the plastic and the twine don't interfere the most and I'll put this in a pot or a bag for it to send out more roots and strengthen up. Mm -hmm.